Hello everyone. In this Power Automate walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to break Word documents down into a JSON object containing an array of content from each page. The best part is, I'm only going to use one action to do this in my flow. I'll now demonstrate how to find and use this action in a quick, manually triggered Instant Cloud flow. To begin, I'm using a get file content action to retrieve a Word document from my system. I'm now adding another action and searching for Cloudversive connectors. I'm looking for the document conversion connector on this list, which I'll find with a green logo by scrolling down just a bit. From here, I'm clicking see more to view the actions list, and I'm then searching for an action called get pages and content from a Word docx document. When I select this action, I jump straight to the request parameters. If it's your first time using this connector, however, you'll encounter a window asking you to create your connection instead. In order to create your connection, you'll just need a free API key, which you can get by creating a free account on the Cloudversive website. I'm using a free API key here as well, and it allows a limit of 800 API calls per month with zero additional commitments. I'm now clicking Show All to view the request parameters. There are only two parameters here, which represent two options for processing our file content. I'm going to use the file bytes option so I can pass dynamic content from my get file content step. Now I'm going to save and run my flow so we can see the outputs. I'm going to skip through this part and jump to where my flow has finished running. After I open my get pages action, I'm heading down to the outputs and I'm clicking show raw outputs to make this easier to see. Down in the body portion of my response, I can see all the content in my Word document broken down in a JSON object like I mentioned earlier. In here, I have a pages array indicated by the square bracket up top, and below that, I have my paragraphs array complete with the paragraph index. Within the paragraphs array, I have my content runs array, and within that, my text items array. This is super useful because docx files are structured as an archive of XML documents, and this action restructures the meat of my document in JSON, meaning I can use all of this as dynamic content downstream in my flow. We can do a ton with this action, including something basic like adding text items from a specific page into another document we're building. I'll leave the rest up to you. If you have any questions about using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate, please feel free to contact a member of our team.